Hello and welcome back everyone to uh, Rocket Rabbit Commentaries run through of Wings of Liberty campaign in StarCraft 2. Hey Kate. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a sad day for us here at UNN. I regret to inform you that last night Don <laughs> Vermillion had himself committed <laughs> to the Dominion Mental Health Center here on Corval. Why is there only one of those? His mental breakdown remains unknown. We do know that he was clad only in his socks and rumored to be in possession of Emperor Mengsk's manifesto and a pound of peanut butter. We wish you all the best, Donnie. Oh, Peanut boy. butter is very tasty junk recovery. food, though. In the meantime, I'll be taking over... Well, you know, if I'm a big weekend. slobbering dog well, and uh, uh, Master comes out with peanut butter, I say, oh no, here we go again. <laughs> Unfortunately, Kate shouldn't be celebrating that, but fuck that. Uh, uh, Donnie was a dick. It seems my faith <laughs> in your abilities has been vindicated, Commander Raynor. Now the final blow must be struck. Use the artifact to neutralize the Queen of Blades and bring... Bloodshed to an end. Ha 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 ha. Valerian no, Max, you look like an oblivion that is character. That happens in this mission. Naga artifact to the base of the primary hive cluster. We'll entrench the last of our defenses all around. He looks dumber than the Count of Leowen. It's take some time to charge up the device for a strike against the Queen of Blades. Intel provided by the Mobius Foundation suggests that the Zerg will be attracted by the artifact's pulse emanations. Once it's activated, mm, all nearby Zerg will go into a printing time to reach it. Yeah, no way to yes and no. Attack with what we got left. The artifact itself may help with that. According to Intel, it can discharge what they're calling an energy nova. That should kill any Zerg within its radius. Boink! Oh, just so, Zerg? It takes time just to reach Zerg. Reach use. Huh. Otherwise, this would be easy. Now we have anti-Zerg. We'll have to activate the energy nova manually. Well, to be perfectly honest, the Nova, as good as it is, and it is honestly very good, I'm going to only be using it a couple of times, and the times that I'm using it are um, when the spoilers happen. Hey. Sometimes you cannot skip the moment of necessity. All in. Okay. All in is a difficult mission, but it's not really for the uh, for the reasons why uh, Rainer and Tychus were trying were trying to oh, well rather Rainer and Warfield are, were trying to impart on us. Oh, them swaying hips. Are not ready for this many. We'll have to use the artifact. Yeah, like we talked about. Boom, they're all dead. Please note that it eradicated all the Zerglings and the Ultralisks. An impressive defense. But not nearly impressive enough. Well, yeah, because Kerrigan's not stupid My enough to just walk into one of those things. And yours yes, she is. By the minute. This can only end one way. Insidious. <laughs> okay. Please note that we have effectively infinite resources during this mission. And Woo! I do mean that, quite literally. Um, yes, and as Pascal yeah, mentions, sure we'll be spamming battle cruisers. This is another, this is another, um, this is another rather extensive, uh, a rather extensive defense mission. And using our upgraded battle cruisers is the only way I know how to clear it. And yes, as ha as uh, Horner mentions, uh, you can use the artifact multiple times during this mission, and you will be required to use the artifact multiple times during this mission, or at least I am required to use the artifact multiple times during this mission. It is important to get as many of the uh, stat upgrades for the units that you're going to be using as you can as early as possible. It can be a bit difficult to actually get all the ones that you want, but it is important all the same. <laughs> Put these right, guys so into the bunkers. Lots of starting resources. You know, that does feel appropriate for, like, like we've been building up to just knowing what to even spend all this money on. You couldn't, you couldn't have spent all these resources at the beginning of the game. I mean, you might have, Mr. Greg, because you have experience, but... New players, well, they, they make their developments a lot more, uh, on a decision-by-decision decision basis. All right, so we did a little bit of jump cut there uh, in order to in order to have this part actually not be four fucking parts because despite <laughs> the fact that it's a half hour mission, we have a rather a, a rather length, lengthy credit sequence to come after this, and this is the big threat that uh, you can that uh, is, ends up uh, being part of this mission. There are two different uh, modes that this mission takes. There, there's the all-in uh, all ground mission and and the all-in air mission. Because we did Belly of the Beast, we'll be doing the all-in air mission. Which uh, which has 
uh, the Zerg forces consistently uh, attacking us with a be with a bevy of flying uh, units, uh, pretty much uh, for the entire run. It's why we're using battle cruisers, to be perfectly honest. Battle Ooh, cruisers will take down a majority of the enemy flying units. Base is uh, under attack. Yes, by like twenty percent uh, done already. But yeah, uh, battle cruisers will take down and fight evenly with a majority of the flying units, with the exception of one of the spoilers that shows up a bit later. Also, I built the hive mind emulator only to realize that it's a t uh, the hive mind emulator's uh, range is so goddamn short that I built it in the wrong spot. What I should have done is I put, should have put the hive mind emulator uh, at the front of my missile turret uh, barrage that is now that is uh, that I'm that I'm building right on top of the uh, artifact. But no, I did not do that. Your forces are under attack. Oh, and pr and pretty much from here on out, a, ma a majority of this mission is just uh, attempting to put uh, our our ground and air forces in the right uh, in the right uh, lane for the attack forces that are coming in, and making sure that we have uh, the upgrades that we need. Lots of Zerg flyers on their way to you, sir. Mm. Yes, lots of Zerg Flyers, specifically a bunch of Meatloops and some Brood Lords. <clears throat> the Brood Lords are the most annoying part of this mission because our battle cruisers don't really have the ability uh, to, well, rather, our missile turrets don't have the ability to, co to counteract them, and our battle cruisers are still really fucking slow in the air. So it's so it's uh, quite it's quite a bit of an issue trying to figure out uh, what we need to do against the uh, the brood lords that show up, especially because the brood lords aren't, uh, although are part of the uh, flyer uh, flyer swarm, because they fly so so slowly, end up uh, uh, being uh, involved later on than they're so than they're uh, supposed to be. And this is me turtling up with additional bunkers around the uh, uh, around the uh, uh, ar artifact housing. Yep. And this is another problem that uh, comes with the fact that we're doing the flyers mission. Uh, uh, Kerrigan will actually throw uh, drop pods uh, on, on on our on our base uh, in, uh, in rather infrequent intervals. So it's important to have at least some uh, some ground forces as a static uh, as static slash mobile defense to make sure that you know your base isn't being ripped apart by uh, bombs from the sky. Yes, a, a diversified defense looks like it's best for this game. You need anti-air. You need grounded units that have good range, like siege tanks that are mounted, in order to attack enemies that are flying like over lava pits, which you can't get close to with your marines and ground units. So you're like, oh, I can hit you, but you can't All hit right, me. And here's the first wave of Kerrigan. Class 12? Yes. For the record, Kerrigan has been slowly increasing in power for the entire uh, for the entire uh, campaign. I think uh, earlier on she was a class ten, and then she went to class eleven. Now she's class twelve. That's the last one of those we need. So from there we need to start uh, uh, building up uh, armor. Okay, so the first time you fight Kerrigan, oh, crap. Uh, she is actually relatively easy to deal with because she doesn't have any of her special abilities. Uh, well, actually, no, she does have this. She has the ability to implode uh, l larger mechanical units. And uh, what, the, what the implosion does is it just deletes a, a, the larger mechanical unit uh, uh, from the fray. Um, yeah, I don't like fighting Kerrigan with the with our battle cruisers, but right. we effectively have to because she has another spell, a uh, blade storm, that uh, she that she gets after the third instance of, of her showing up. I think it's the third, and that does a shitload of damage to light units, which is what Marines are. So, so we must repel Mister X. Over. Well. And over. Kerrigan doesn't actually perform uh, doesn't perform as well as Mr. X does because Mr. X is you know, well Mr. X is uh, really scary uh, mostly due to presence, whereas Kerrigan isn't so much scary as she is an actual threat. Kerrigan, but here is... we have finally spent the the 400, 300 that we need to summon the Jackson's Revenge. <laughs> uh -huh. yes. The Jackson's Revenge is the uh, is the mercenary band for the battle cruiser. It is awesome. It is slightly it is slightly more powerful than the uh, battle cruiser, and it comes with all the uh, uh, battle cruiser upgrades that we've already gotten. 
God, there's a lot of overlords happening uh, around uh, around our base. Yeah, try not I to have wish that we actually had the ability to deal with Kerrigan's base. It would make this a little bit easier. Just a little bit easier. But uh, easier enough. The thing is, fighting through uh, Kerrigan's entrenched base right uh, for this mission is virtually impossible. Because you're going to end up fighting Kerrigan on the way through. And uh, Kerrigan rips apart anything you throw at her. Until uh, she is has this to the first time that the second spoilers happens? I don't think so. No, this is just another wave of flyers. Well, we can't pick up the artifact and take it with us. Not yet. We Not we're, yet. we're trying to use the artifact uh, in order to uh, uh, in order to purge Kerrigan uh, of the Zerg influence. We don't know that that's what we're doing, but that's what we're trying to do right now. Oh, look, a corruptor. This uh, all in is honestly the mission where it shows off, uh, where you get to show off all the different uh, uh, res all the different research upgrades that you've done, like strike turrets, fortified bunkers. Um, all the, all the, um, ar all the armory enhancements that you've done. Yep. All the things. The whole... All of them. Kind of, yeah, the consummation of all of your research and developments in a particularly challenging mission that actually gives you... It, well, it's, I, I tell you what, there's not much more empowering than having the superlative amount of resources. I mean, God damn it, we're over 5,000 crystals, and, I mean, this, we're, we're still mining. I don't have, an, I don't have enough barracks to p continue pumping out marines, and I don't have enough, uh, Vespa, and I don't have enough Vespain to keep pumping out, uh, uh, battle cruisers. That is the one big issue that I really wish they, they would have solved, uh, for this mission. Despite the fact that we have what is literally infinite resources, we don't have enough, uh, we don't have enough Vespain coming in to really cash in infinite resources. This better be good. Yeah, right. That, well, you can max out your queues. Yeah, so that when your yeah, resources I can max out die, my queues, but there's no point because it doesn't actually that doesn't actually increase my uh, that doesn't actually increase my uh, uh, ground force what the fuck? Uh, nearly as much as uh, as it's supposed to. We use the energy at Nova in order to disable the uh, the wave of overlords that there that she was trying to drop in on us. Oh, there's some more. But look at all the overlords that are still slightly burning from the energy nova. <laughs> They're lining up. Whoa, those guys are moving faster. Hell lions. Hellions. Oh, shit. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. But my perimeter has been breached. Uh, not really. Our perimeter is fine at the moment. Mostly because we're uh, we're covering each of the lanes with multiple battle cruisers. We got Jackson's Revenge on one lane, and the uh, other uh, the other uh, big lane is currently covered with a siege tank and uh, and patrolling uh, marines. you all from my world? Now I think Kerrigan actually has Blade Storm. X gonna give it to you, motherfucker. Sitting down, living on your own. X gonna deliver to you. And now I'm at maximum supply, so I can't even produce more battle cruisers if I wanted to. Well, uh, it looks like we're gonna have to kill some stuff off first. Beautiful. Uh, and there's then bring no on reason the resources. to push out, though. No, like, we're not pushing I, I out. We're holding in. I would love there to be a reason to push out. Honestly, well, that's what we're pushing. That's what we're holding in against. You're yeah, gonna want to retreat we're, that we're battle holding cruiser. Against. And she imploded a battle cruiser that wasn't even attacking her. Bitch. Well, at least you got that one last attack off before it got, before it went down. Get your medics back. They're in the front row. Of course they're in the front row. Uh, medics, uh, medics have the absolutely terrible problem of, hey, we move faster than the Marines do. Ah, uh, she just imploded the siege tank. Yep. It's a fucking slaughter over here. She's so tall. No, well, her blades are so tall. Fireball. 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 <laughs> No, see, I thought this whole time it would be over in just one battle. Oh, no. No. Garrigan is not quite that weak. It's a recurring boss. Also, I have to deal with those brood lords, or else they're going to just keep just keep bomb bomb bombarding me. And this is Pascal being frustrated that I that my hive mind emulator is fucking useless. Because it's in the wrong spot. Also, the brood lords have got more range than the hive mind emulator, so it doesn't matter. And in the next part... In the next part, we'll finish the Wings of Liberty campaign. Uh, be safe, Yay. everybody.